What's up, family? More sucker news. A Texas man is demanding a refund from his date after she allegedly continuously texted while they were watching the movie Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 at a movie theater in Austin. This fool has went out of his way to file suit in a small claims court in the enormous amount, y'all ready for this? $17.31. Yeah. Now, the lawsuit claims that Brandon Vesmar says he purchased the tickets on May 6th and that the woman sent text messages on her cell phone 10 to 20 times during the first 15 minutes of the film. Now, anything short of an emergency, that dude got to be one boring ass day. 10 to 20 times. The lawyer also says that Texting is in direct violation of the theater's policy, adversely affecting the viewing experience of Vesmar and others. While damages sought are modest, the principle is important as defendant's behavior is a threat to civilized society. <laughs> okay, so it's one thing to have a dumbass client, but then to have a dumbass attorney to take on the case. Who in the hell accepts a case where somebody wants to sue somebody for $17.31? I get it, you got lawyers out there that are attention whores, and I'm sure that's why he did it, but these dudes today, Lord, help us all. Where in the hell did these dudes come from? Where they come from, man? Who in the hell are they daddies? These dudes need daddies, man. These bastards are out of their minds. They're so emotional. I've never seen men emotional like that growing up. I never saw that in my life. I'm telling you, I mean, with all of the bad things I saw, at least one thing I did not see men exhibiting was profound weakness, profound emotional weakness. These dudes today, these motherfuckers needs to be exterminated. Where do they come from, man? Now, he said that these actions of the girl were a threat to civilization. <laughs> this shit is pure comedy, man. Now, I doubt seriously that anybody texting in a movie theater is a threat to civilization. But I tell you one thing, this shit is annoying as hell. It is annoying because when that light comes on, I'm talking about when the light comes on, or even when people just on their phone. And some people would, would, would get on the damn phone in the movie theater and talk like it ain't nothing. And not just talk like whisper. They ask would talk like it's a regular conversation. Talking over the sound of the movie. So I can get the dude was pissed off. He was annoyed. But come on, man, suing somebody because they were texting during a movie, they interrupted your movie theater experience. And I heard that the girl, he told the girl to step out the theater if she wanted to text. She stepped out all right, stepped all the way out and left his ass there, <laughs> rightfully so. <laughs> so he sued her. She countersued his ass. Hopefully, 
she countersued him for an, an exorbitant amount, like something way more than what he sued her for, just to teach his ass a lesson. Like, come on, man, get out of your feelings, dude. Your mama should be embarrassed. Your daddy should have pulled out. That is ridiculous, man. And another thing, any real man knows you don't take a female on a damn movie date on your first night out. You don't do that. You don't do that. That is a cardinal sin of dating. You don't take a female to a movie theater on the first date. You got to take her somewhere where you can get to know her. Sitting there in a movie theater, you're not getting to know her. You're getting to know the characters in the movie. You're watching a movie and she's just that you don't you don't even know if she's even digging the movie itself. You got to take a female somewhere that you can get to know her where you can have conversations and you can kind of get to know each other. I mean, you know, like, you know, a dinner date is a good date. You know, even at an activity date, something that you can where you can do something together and you can talk. You can have conversations where you can kind of learn a little something about her. You're not learning anything about a female when you're just sitting up there, you know, watching a movie and you, you're sitting there in silence. In the, in the case of going out on a date with a female, silence is not golden. <laughs> so a movie theater should be the last person. I mean, the last place you want to take a date to, a first date. That should be the last place you would, should want to go on a first date. Now, I'm wondering, like, how many more women in his past has had to deal with his bullshit? I'm sure he don't get second dates. I'm sure that's a big problem. But in this country, you know, we got an we have an overt sense of rudeness too you know at these theaters we a lot of people just need to go and take some type of etiquette classes before they go to theaters because most of us just we just don't get it we don't understand it. and we do destroy the experience for other people but this don't seem like a situation where dude experience was actually destroyed or other people's ex experience was destroyed it sounded like his feelings was hurt and the only reason why he sued, because he was trying to figure out some kind of little petty ass way to get back at her. And he could only thing he could come up with, you know what? I want to whoop her ass. He probably was thinking like that, I ought to shoot her. Because you know a lot of like weak ass dudes today, they want to shoot and kill the woman if the woman agree disagree with him. You know, if <laughs> if they ride in the car with a female and uh <laughs> <laughs> she tell him to turn left and he want to turn right. He pull out a gun. Pow! He's ignorant ass dudes today. But yeah, he was so petty. He was trying to figure out how he could get her back. How he could just pay her back. You know what? I'm going to sue her for the price of the ticket. That's what I'll do. That's what my emotional ass would do. Now I'm going to tell you what. His lawyer should have added his lawyer should have added in the lawsuit some language that goes like this. My client has also experienced emotional distress because he is a weak ass, bitch ass nigga. And he can't really communicate well with women. He's never been able to communicate well with women. Even when he was in kindergarten, he didn't even know how to finish the line I love you, you love me, yes or no. <laughs> My client is a bitch ass nigga and he's antisocial and all he knows is how to be petty. That's what he should have added in there. Because that is one petty ass dude. And let that be a warning to anyone out there, any woman out there who comes across his ass. He better run in the opposite direction. And I'm going to tell you this before I go. One of the things 
that dude should have taken from this instead of being pissed off about it? Well, you could be pissed off about it. I guess I would be pissed off. But instead of being petty about it, filing a lawsuit, what he should have did is looked at the situation and said, you know what? Rudeness. When you see a person being rude, that's, that's a blessing in disguise. If you can catch a person and see what they're about before you start really investing in them. So he should have looked at that as a blessing in disguise. And he should have took the L, chalked it up and said, you know what? It cost me $17.31 to get rid of my ass. That's how he should have looked at it. He should have looked at it like, man, I ain't got to worry about her no more. It cost me $17.31 I mean, to get rid of her. That's the way he should have handled it. He should have handled it that way instead of being a sucker. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Damn. Order, Texas.